This is Chris Kelly with our Peak Fitness Sumo Deadlift exercise. For the sumo Deadlift, we're going to use either a dumbbell, which is flipped up on its side, we would be holding it like this in this position, or a kettlebell, which I'm going to demonstrate. Okay? For our sumo Deadlift, what I'm going to do is cue the client to stand over the kettlebell. My feet are to get, uh, um, I have the kettlebell elevated here on an elevated surface to reduce range of motion. This would be the first progression, all right? When I'm teaching somebody to deadlift, I want the kettlebell or whatever implement we're using right between my heels, all right? Uh, I want them actually physically reaching back to pick it up because we want the weight on the heels firmly. What I'm going to do is keep the client to keep their back flat, lean forward so they feel a good stretch in their hamstrings while keeping their shoulder blades squeezed together. You'll notice my back is flat here. Then I'm only bending my knees as much as I need to get my hands on this kettlebell. There should be a straight line from my head down to my tailbone, and I stand straight up and hump the bell. Okay, extend the hips into the bell. A lot of people who are missing hip extension will see that they won't finish, and we want them to finish. Okay, so a couple reps. As range of motion improves, we would simply move this to the floor and repeat the same motion. Short blade squeeze together. I'm going to bend my knees as much as I need to, to get my hands on it, weight in the heels. And that's our super deadlift.